One of the tricky things about painting with gouache is because it's so opaque, after you've done your line work and you start laying down the paint, um, I find I lose track of the lines and, I, and the shapes and I sort of lose sight of where I'm going. So for this painting I decided that I would try um, a technique that's used in oil painting and do an underpainting. I've already done some tests on leaves to see how it's going to turn out. I'll put a picture in the bottom corner there so you can see it. And now I'm underpainting the leaves and filling in the background. So I've got my background, I've got my leaves, I've got my flowers, now it's time to do the vase. This was tricky. I wanted the vase to have a ceramic texture and I had to experiment around a little bit and see how I was going to do it. I'll put in the um, bottom corner again a picture of the first test that I did and it just turned out way too flat and opaque looking. I didn't think that I'd captured the ceramic texture that I was going for. So I had another go at it, this time using a more diluted color, more water in the mix, and that worked much better. You can see uh, as you're watching the video that I'm referring back to this um, test that worked well for me so that I kind of can replicate it in the painting. Just about done here, coming to my favourite part of the painting process, tearing back the masking tape. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments and I will answer them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.